In this video, we'll talk about smallpox. Smallpox is caused by the virus known as variola virus or also known as smallpox virus. It belongs to the orthopox virus genus and it is a DNA virus. So it's a double-stranded DNA virus. It has a brick-like shape, kind of like ovoid. And it is a large virus, approximately 200 to 300 nanometer in size. It's kind of one of the big viruses in the entire viral kingdom. Anyway, so the replication of the virus occurs in the cytoplasm of the host cell, which is pretty different from any other DNA viruses, which generally takes place in the nucleus. So that makes smallpox virus a little bit different. And its incubation period is typically 7 to uh, 17 days. Now here we talk about the structure of the virus in a bit more details. So here is the outer membrane, here is the inner membrane. It has two membranes actually. It has the core wall, the core inside which has double-stranded DNA genome and basically a lot of proteins which are essential for the replication, the transcription of the genome immediately after uh, getting into a host cell. So it's important to note that smallpox virus has many cousins which we looked at before like monkeypox virus, like the chickenpox virus, etc. Now this is how the replication cycle works. So the virus gets into the cell, release its DNA from the core. The DNA in the cytoplasm sequentially makes immediate early mRNA which gets translated into immediate early proteins. Eventually these proteins are further used to produce like immediate uh, intermediate mRNAs and long-term mRNAs or the late mRNAs which forms the late proteins and the intermediate proteins subsequently and many of these products which are sequentially generated are also used to replicate the DNA genome and make more copies of it. So once there are enough amount of enzymes, structural protein, matrix protein and enough genetic material, the virus can be now duplicate, the, the virus can be replicated and reassembled to form an entire new viral particle which can be released. So this is how the pox virus or the variola virus uh, replication cycle works. Now human to human transmission can occur due to respiratory droplets, also through nasal secretion, respiratory droplet, fluid from the postule or even via injury site the transmission can occur. From mother to baby the transmission can occur since the variola virus or the pox virus can actually cross the placenta. But these incidents are much rare. Now let's talk about the clinical symptoms. So in the prodrome phase fever, malleus, headache, vomiting all these things are pretty common. And in exanthem situation, the rashes begin in the face first of all and then eventually spreads in all around the extremities, kind of like a centrifugal spread. Initially, the rashes are macules, which are flat, small red spots. Eventually, they progress into papules, vesicles, which are fluid filled and even postules, which are filled with cloudy pus and ultimately forms uh, scrabs or crusts. The lesions, all of them are generally concentrated initially in the face and eventually get concentrated into the hands and digits, the extremities, ext extremities of the limbs. Now it's important to note that if a, pox a smallpox virus uh, infected individual is examined, all of these rashes should be on same stages based on the time of the infection we are looking at. For example, at one point of time there would be all vesicles and there would be no papules, no postules. And one part of time there would be all postules, no papules or no uh, macules. That means they are all synchronously developing. All these rashes are synchronously developing which is quite different from chickenpox which is kind of asynchronous. Anyway, complications might include secondary bacterial infection, uh, keratitis, blindness, hemorrhagic smallpox are rare but can cause severe form of bleeding. Encephalitis is extremely rare but sometimes the brain is affected and the brain parenchyma gets inflamed so en encephalitis can occur. The diagnosis can be uh, done with normal clinical investigation but also laboratory tests like uh, polymerase chain reaction is confirmatory for any kind of viral uh, infection. Anyway, the differential diagnosis includes basically the lesions of smallpox has all synchronous stages whereas varicella has asynchronous stages. 
Now the treatment option includes getting adequate amount of rest, water and staying hydrated is key for any viral infection. But vaccine, vaccine is available. Live attenuated vaccine, vaccine is available, available for long time. And vaccination has severely reduced the uh, incidence of infection. There is also post-exposure prophylaxis. That means vaccination within four days of exposure. That's also effective. Now, isolation of an infected individual, individual is really important to prevent the spread. It's not a treatment measure, but also a management of the disease. Anyway, according to WHO, uh, by 1980, they have re literally eradicated the cases of uh, smallpox globally because the vaccine has really been effective in to eliminate these infection but still in some rare occasions people might get pox who are not vaccinated so that's why it's always prescribed to have a smallpox vaccine so i hope this video was useful if you like this video if you uh, are interested enough please support our channel using uh, super thanks see you in next video